So I think the only way to really deal with this is to send our, uh, our troops home. Because they will eventually reinforce enough to take us out. And I don't really want that to happen. So we will finish our siege, but keep the ships ready, I think. Or are we? We can do an important decision. Yeah, let's get some treatment. I don't think we can afford keeping our ships up. But we are being reinforced, so we can assault. And send our troops on the ships. And now we just have to hope against hope that our 1000 will be enough to land and destroy their 700 which very well might not be the case so we did just recently repay let's stand these down this might go really wrong i have no idea can't raise any further troops i don't think could raise these which some of them actually appear in our army so that's another hundred or so on our end ah goodness let's see how this ends probably badly the only factor that we have is numbers but they've already broken one of our flanks and the second oh fire hair by an absolute hair. We almost lost this. Got a hundred gold from something I didn't read. Demand some monetary compensation. So okay. We beat them. Now we need to retake our city. And we might have a chance of winning this actually. This was a big gamble again and we're not equipped to go to war as of yet. We're just not there. Bash this in. Lost a bunch of gold. And I know how to persuade the driver. We don't need to pay him. Good. So we're at 67%. We have lost 9% in battles. But I think since we did have battles recently, we should be able to uh, win this purely by having the occupation that we have right now. So we're going to stand down all our troops and just reinforce our retinues on this, this stage because this should keep going up. Do hold the city. We should build a garrison or something there. And we have taken care of our political rival here. We can now take out a bit of funds. Not. Oh no. Okay, we have uh, appointed our horsey glitter hoof. Be our chancellor and we'll replace him immediately with our cousin. <laughs> this job. You don't have to actually keep him there. If glitter hoof appears, it's it's fine if you take him back out. They might go try and retake this, so we should probably get ready to deal with them, but... Ah, uh, goodness. Okay. What we want, we want to take out our retinues, which we will leave behind. And we will only send the others. To help defend here we've taken we are attacking from a landing into mountains so despite there being much lower numbers it's what now glitter will survive without any personal armor we don't need to get him armor Okay, so we won a little battle here, and I accidentally split my troops. Can we siege anything of theirs? Do we have enough? Ew. 
we can now okay our workshop investment of 50 gold did not pan out it's a shame. we can sit these ships down again they don't cost us anything but where did all our money go why do we earn so little what i don't understand a levy up Ooh, levy upkeep what is levy upkeep why do we have to pay for these troops oh these are our own okay okay we'll keep fighting them we want some more war score from battles because otherwise our capture of the city will be hampered back to siege should be done soon i hope but still weren't we earning like triple of this our monthly income wasn't it 30 why is it down to 10 what's going on here do we have any negative modifiers i don't understand where all of our money is going Oof, we've won. We actually conquered a city. I mean, we've done it before. We just immediately lost it after. So we'll have to see how long this one will stick around. Definitely quite destroyed. Uh, we could give it to someone else. Let's give it to one of our relations. One of our males. We lower our cost a little bit as well. And him, our cousin. It's the city of Melfi. So he'll still be a vassal of ours. But I don't have to deal with the city. Beast. Is that our spy master? No. I think our spy master just died for some other reason. Unrelated to any of this. And your plot wife. Be weird now. Okay, let's check this out. This one is a little bit too strong. Let's go kill the man. And always demand monetary compensation when it comes up. These guys are going to be eaten at some point. Ah, yes. The Cessation of Violence Act. Therefore, I decree that all forms of violence directed at other human beings are outlawed, including both capital and corporal punishment. I mean, that's pretty, you know, that's pretty progressive. Uh, but I like that they put it as a lunatic trait. At this point in time. Put the money back into the campaign fund. Because we immediately lost it. <laughs> Go for a 4 out of 4. What is with Aquila? Why do you earn so little? Probably Apulia. Probably because of all the fighting that ha went on here. No, I am very confused. We're almost... Two thirds of our income went. Where's our 20 gold we should be earning? Weird. Um, what are you good at? Good at war stuff. Become war. Not literally war. Let's check our house here. Oh yes, very good. Let's organize an expedition and we will hire a crew of bandits to steal the ship because we don't have any money right now. Yes, come with us. Thank you. We'll come out net positive out of this, but we might have to upset a few people. So what's going on here? 
Ooh. Of course. Because they siege this the city here. That's what happened. Special tithe was collected. Okay, I think we have to upgrade this stuff here. And always give him the best thing. The most expensive thing in the business options. Let's upgrade the city of Venezia. Okay, I didn't know we notice him. Uh, he got rolls annoyed, so we could do this option. Or we could upset people. Let's just use the. I've never had this option in this. Usually you go with upsetting your own guy. So you don't upset this guy. So we'll just go with the... With the learning option, which doesn't seem to upset anyone, but still hopefully leads to the good outcome, which is establishing a trade route. Um, okay, and now our bishop is being a piece of work towards our uh, nice host so we're going to tell him to shove it which is going to lower his opinion of us but that's okay we can deal with it okay very good we become close friends and thus sign a trade agreement which will give us a lot of money in just a moment yes 455 gold from prestige but what is more important is the capital city for the next 30 years gets a city tax plus 30 a castle tax plus 20 percent tribal tax plus 20 percent um we get trader which gives us plus two stewardship and business contacts which increases city vassal opinion this is one of the best things you can have you can renew it like this is just up now and of course we will uh, reward this man appropriately we will still be net positive if we do and I want to upgrade this a lot. What we want this garrison size, so we need to have cities and temples equal to four. We're far away from that. Ooh, trade practices, we can finally upgrade it. Let's do so. Now we could have more trade posts. Wow, we can have nine trade posts now. This is purely because of our high level um, palace already. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Okay, let's let's embark on trade domination in this world. Okay, we could build a trading post here. There's no land left to build a trading post here. Be shameful. So which here is the most prosperous? This is this area, though. I think, and not this one. Taken. Let's build one here. And we can have more, so we're going to build one here as well. All along the coastline, our trading posts up. This is fantastic, and we're still limited by 33%, and there's still about three more that we will be able to build just from our palace we were converted good our marshal has done stupid stuff that's bad prison him finally he's getting on my nerves uh, let's put This guy in. He's one of ours. Or family members. Not great at it, but at least he's not gonna mess it up as much. Good. Um, we need to kill this man, I think. He does have an heir who's younger than him. Far younger, so that's a good one to kill. Do it. Fight a bunch of people to help out. Not as many as our father had, but Glitterhoof helps. Glitterhoof loves us, so Glitterhoof is going to help. <laughs> Why is our horse helping us to kill this man? 
So we shouldn't be affected in wars with our trade posts. Should upgrade the port. And just keep working on keeping the city. Already losing, yeah. Is he older? Yeah, he's older. So our money should go up to 30 or exceed it even as our city is rebuilt. And we have now learned that you never ever want anyone to come to Venezia and take it out. Because that's going to hamper you financially a really, really, really long time. Right, new cap usage, 700, 725. What is the lowest one? 550, 580. These here, the archers and the heavy infantry are the lowest threat new cap usage we have. And they're pretty cheap too. And then we got some money. So we might be able... No, we don't have enough red new cap. One is upgraded merchant port. Hmm. Merchant enclave, definitely. Or we wait for our newest trade posts to be built to invest a little bit in there. I think that's what we're gonna do. We wait for these and. Upgrade a little bit on them then. Almost done anyway. I only just noticed, I probably knew this before, but you can tell up on this uh, little picture here what type of terrain you're looking at and mountains and hills is pretty clear. Okay, there are new... I must be careful. People are out to kill us. Okay, so this one does connect to this area for some reason. Stuff. So let's upgrade the merchant port, the merchant enclave. Uh, we don't have the money for this yet. Okay, so this one here is clearly in our hand. This one has too many cooks, I believe. Or oh, it's it, that, that's probably it. Ooh, Sardinia is a new player as well. I think that's it. I think whoever, wh whichever one family has the most trading posts in one area gets to own it. I think that's how that works. So the fact that there's a lot of Venice here, but we are not the majority and no one has a majority. Okay, let's check here. So this is one of ours, one of ours, one of ours. There are three of ours. This is Babalio, Salvius, Salvius. Antenero. Okay. It's split between Antenero and us, basically. That's how it works. So if we got one more trading post up here, it would be ours. Which trade zone do you belong to? Probably Adriatic Sea and not this. I do think you can tell by the little uh, port they have, but apparently that's not so, because this one clearly has a por port down here in the Strait of uh, Otran Otranto. Mm. I don't know what owning the trade zone actually does. Probably a bonus or something. So 
this one is the next one we need to upgrade. Slowly but surely earning back money. Mr. Pape likes us. Hey, Mr. Pape, you want to give me money? No. Don't have enough piety. Oh yeah, actually the Necronomicon is pushing us in the negative. We might want to consider getting into a secret society or something. I'm gonna just put 100 gold here so we stop this city back and forth with him. Daughter to our kins, man. Let us... The Hermetic Society is not exactly where I want to go. I mean, have I ever been in the Hermetic Society? Let's just join it. We've joined the Hermetic Society. Does what now? Peter Hoof can be our state inquisitor. Okay, we, we can have an apprentice. Let's have our heir be our apprentice. Gives a salary and a little bit of prestige. Okay, so our court tutor should be someone with high learning and high business. This guy, clearly. It was built here, so we should have... Oh no, we might become depressed. We avoided depression. Good stuff. We want the coins for glory and ourselves at the same time. We can upgrade our port. Another merchant enclave. But I think that's how it works. So these are not all the same, but they switch between families. So that's how the trade zones work. Okay, now we know. Now we know. What are you good at? Um, military again. Let's push him toward diplomacy. Who are you? A courtier. Let's just imprison him. Uh, do we still have troops up? Okay, a port was built in Venezia. We're slowly reaching our 30 income again. But the main issue really is um, upgrading the army size here. Yeah, this one is the next one, militia training ground. And a city guild hall. The militia training ground because it upgrades the garrison size. Plus 15% which is quite significant. Right. Okay, so we took a city. We figured out how the trade zone ownership works. I haven't figured out how to know what area belongs to what trade zone yet. And the reason why this trade zone doesn't have an owner is because these are all different families vying for control here. That's how that works. Very good. I'm happy with that in inside. That's that's good. That's good to know. Now, of course, the next question is how do we get control over here? We could probably go to war with Frank here. Or the Byzantines. That's really the options we have. We go to war with the Byzantines. Which we can't because we don't have the piety to go to war with anyone. Who is of the same faith. Oh, we could go to war with him. For some reason it's fine with him. Are you a heretic? No. Not get why I could go to war. I mean, he has 16,000 troops. He's just going to completely squash us if we even try that. It's good to know. So we own one trade zone now, which makes me happy. That's good. 
And we should also be able to pretty much keep it. Unless he builds up all the coastline here. Um, a rumor about a spy sneaking around in our own castle was confirmed when we called him red-handed. Yeah. Ooh. We'll destroy that man. So this... <sighs> Okay, how do, how do we know what belongs to which trade zone? Does it say here? Hmm. No, it doesn't really say here. Can't build anywhere there because all this already taken. So it's this one either adds to Venice or this. For some reason I can't build here anyway, why not? Total cost 200 of the money. Province is located county owner. What? Oh, it's not owned by another merchant republic. Oh, because that's their actual land. So if we owned the land then another Merchant Republic can't build there. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Learning a lot of Merchant Republic related facts today. Okay, very good. Reading tooltips is the key to success in this. Hmm. Should we cement our grasp here? Because we would hold four areas. Which one here is the least weak? All of these are pretty terrible. But I don't think actually the area decides all that much about the wealth of the trade post. This one is the cheapest to build, so we'll do that. Build another trade post here. That I think. Well, it puts us closer to a limit, but not fully in. If only we could break these out of being in the Byzantine Empire. That would be great, but I don't think we can do anything to force them into independence. The Byzantines are going to break apart eventually, and then we can probably take care of it. They really full on own these counties. Crazy stuff. We'll have to do that as well at some point. Okay, now we could seize the whole county. Because we now own a city there. Or we could try and seize more cities. And the more cities we have, the more counties we could seize. So we could get all these counties as well. Which would protect them long term from other republics. Okay, very good. Very good. So that's how you could potentially build up a coast. You keep seizing cities and then you seize their counties. Very interesting. This was probably the most we've learned about the Merchant Republic so far. That's good. 